Hello and hi everyone. So um, let's have some fun with the combination of algebraic operations on complex numbers. So um, we have our two complex numbers here, z1 and z2. z1 is equal to 3 minus i and z2 is equal to 1 minus 2i. And the complex conjugate for z1 denoted by z1 bar is just equal to 3 plus i. And complex conjugate for z2 denoted by z2 bar is just equal to 1 plus 2i. So um, let's say we want to find the expression of z1 minus 2 over z2 bar over here. So this one is the complex conjugate for z2. So uh, we have to careful with this with these terms over here and and for this video I just want to focus on the first method we have um, plenty methods to uh, or ways to uh, in order to find this expression over here so uh, the first method what we want to do is just like we have let's say we have a um, fractions over here let's say we have 5 minus 3 over 7. So what we want to do in order to calculate this value is just um, we want to make sure this number or this fraction um, turn into or merge into one single fun uh, fraction. So uh, what we do 5 over here is actually is 5 over 1. So we have to make sure the denominator take the same or equal value. So what we do, we times with 7 and the numerator also times with 7. So what we get here is, 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 is just 35 minus 3 over 7. Then we simplify this term, we should get 32 over 7. So so the, 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 the same idea is, is, is applied in our method 1 here. So what we do, we have 3 minus i for z1 minus 2 over, now we get z2 bar, it should be 1 plus 2i over here. So what we want to do, the first step is, is, is make sure the denominator for both number or for both terms is equal. So now 3 minus i is basically is over 1 so what we do is we times with 1 plus 2i and same goes to the our numerator, numerator so 1 plus 2i now we just dealing with our multiplication so distributive law of multiplication is applied here we have 3 we have 3 so let me let me change my marker pen first. So we have 3 times with 1 and then 3 times with 2i. Next one followed by negative i times with 1 and negative i times with positive 2i. So what we get here is just 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2i should be plus 6i negative i times 1 is negative i negative i times with positive 2i should be negative 2i squared over over now 1 times with 1 plus 2i is 1 plus 2i and then for the second term just follow through from the first step minus 2 over 1 plus 2i now what we, what we can see here, these two terms have the same denominator. Therefore, we can, we can merge these two numbers into one single fraction. So what we, what we have here is, um, so we have 3, now 6i minus 1i, we have plus 5i. Now, this for this one, i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times with negative 2, therefore we have plus 2 minus with 2 over here 
over over 1 plus 2i our common denominator so uh, what's left is we, we, we have to simplify our numerator so plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so 3 plus 0 is 3 plus 5i over 1 plus 2i now what's left is just the division of two complex numbers here so when we're dealing with division of two complex numbers the trick is we have to rationalize the denominator so we want to change our complex number here our complex um, 1 plus 2i here into its um, its rational number so we have to times with its complex conjugate so the complex conjugate for 1 plus 2i is just 1 minus 2i same goes for our for our numerator here so 1 minus 2i again what we're dealing is the, the, the multiplication of of complex number so let's proceed with the multiplication so we have again the distributive law of multiplication 3 times 1 3 times negative 2i 5i times with 1 5i times with negative 2i so we should get here what we should get here is just 3 times 1 is 3 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i next one 5i times 1 with it should be get plus 5i next one is 5i times times with negative 2i should be negative 10i squared over over what about the numerator denominator sorry so 1 times 1 is 1 1 times negative 2i is negative 2i positive 2i and then 2i multiplied with negative 2i we should get negative 4i squared then next step we proceed further i squared again is negative 1 so negative 1 times with negative 10 it should be positive 10 so 3 plus 10 is equal to 13 next one negative 6i plus with 5i it should be negative i over now negative 2i plus 2i is equal to 0 so what we have here negative 4 times with negative 1 it should be plus 4 plus 1 so it's equal to 5 and this one also can be written as in this form so this is our answer for this question so to conclude method one what we do what we did here the first one is we merge the fractions into one single fraction by by um, make um, make it its um, denominator equal and then we simplify it and then from this this part we rationalize the denominator by using its its complex conjugate so uh, Hope this video helps you in uh, understanding and in uh, solving and finding this expression of the, the, the combination of algebraic operation. So, see you guys in next video. Bye-bye.